Also, Und dann, let's continue. <laughs> so busy. But just for all the concession stands have been checked over. No problems with sending out the invitations. Now all that's left is to play. Can't find anyone to fill the last two roles. The only option might be for us to fill them in ourselves. <laughs> oh no, there's no way you are acting in the play. <laughs> the heroes I witnessed when we first tried those costumes on are going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Don't remind me, I never want to wear anything like that ever again. What the fuck sort of costumes have you prepared? I'm back, Trader. Hello, Hans. Hans. Good German name there, my friend. I see. Chloe, I heard about the fire. Must have been awful. Uh, had a matron and the kids alright. Yes, they're fine for now. The orphanage was burnt to ground, though. I see. Well, try to keep your spirits up. Betting won't do anyone any good. I mean, easier said than done, especially when you just lost your home, but uh, when us. Uh, Best thing we can do is make the place something the kids can enjoy. Yes, Major and Teresa gave us the same advice. So we'll give it our best. With your help, I'm sure everything will turn out fine. I think I was stressing about it just a few minutes ago. Who are your friends? Hm. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mr. I'm Joshua. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Hmm, so you must be the ones Chloe spoke of before. I told you I'd bring them here. They will be helping too. Hmm, oh, that's a relief. Let to meet both of you. I'm Jill Radonoa. I'm the head of the student council. I'll be directing the play. I do always found that the Japanese with their student council. I mean, I've watched enough anime, but I've played enough anime rated games too. Now, enough about the idea of a student council. I also get just from the words the meaning. I mean, it's basically a council led by the students. It's not necessarily a bad idea to foster a, a, a spirit of independent uh, self-governance amongst the student body because, well, that's a good standpoint. Uh, it's just that, you know, considering that the Japanese work culture is as it is, a pain in the ass, that is putting it very mildly, let me say it like this. On most places of the whole wide world, I would probably actually be willing to work. Not necessarily Japanese culture, though. Especially not, you know, classical company worker, uh, company slave, office worker. No, thank you. The companies treat you like fucking shit and you're supposed to take it and like it. Yeah, no. I'm gonna complain like a fucking bitch about that. Also, vacation time, you bitches. Give me some. Like, oh, but you have one golden week. And I'm like, yeah, that's not much, people. I need a bit more time to myself. Basically, uh, one joke we had with the... Uh, as we were walking in the office and we were uh, meeting a few of our colleagues from the uh, from the Asia market and um, Japanese groups, we were kind of joking about the fact that they basically had not time to even jerk off, let alone get, you know, late. Um, which you couldn't really say much about because neither he nor his uh, female counterpart, of course, of course, uh, the spirit of uh, mutual understanding they brought along Secretary personnel of the male and female variant. We got along quite well. I mean, to, you know, from one secretary's side to the other. A lot better than our bosses, actually. Um, none of them were married. None of them had any kids. Let alone a partner. I, I mean, uh, you, there was a bit of argument, but I mean, nobody really outright asks, uh, you know, another person like, you ever done the deed, man? Because, you know, can't really ask somebody in there. I don't know, N20 or something? Something like that. Mid-20? Mid-20 or so. You're just assuming, you know. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. Student councils. Nice in an idea. But yeah. In the end... I guess it's a casual thing. Hmm, and I'm the vice president. Hans! Hans! It is Hans! You, my friend. Don't look nearly German enough for that name. <laughs> It's nice to meet you both. Likewise. Good to meet you too. You know. Uh, what? what? The price is here. Maybe we can incorporate stunts. Are you any good with a sword still? Well, as I mainly trained me on the staff, but I'm not hopeless at least. Hmm, okay, then that settles it. You'll have a big sword fight with Chloe. Oh, 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 oh. Sword fight? That sounds horrible. Chloe is in the fencing club. 
She means the play, of course. Uh, there's a duel between the two knights at the climax of the play. It's a really powerful scene, perfect for the final act. A lot of any girls who can use a sword well enough to compete with Chloe, let's just make it look good. She beat every guy in the fencing tournament and took the top spot. Oh, wow. We actually beat out Hans in the final match. Thanks for reminding me, Jill. Not that I'm not good, it's just that Chloe is way better. Well, longer training times, more talent, who knows? Could be many things. <laughs> I'm still only an amateur. I don't think I'd be a mining match for a professional like Estelle. <laughs> and again with the modesty. Hey, if you need her help, I'm your girl. <laughs> we can do it, Chloe. Yay! <laughs> I'm sure we can. Thank you. You know, a duel between two female knights ought to be pretty unique. Female knights. We're going to be playing the two male knights. That leaves us without a role for Joshua. Oh my, whatever shall we do? We deserve to play a crucial role in this. <laughs> yes, a crucial role. I think we might have just the part for him. Question marks forming overhead very much. Um, what kind of play is this exactly? <laughs> it's called Madrigal of the White Magnolia. It's a famous story, set in a time where there are nobles and commoners. A princess is escorted by both a knight of royal blood and a commoner. That's not going to end well. In spite of the different social classes, the three have been friends since childhood. That's interesting. Usually your more noble variant, especially the princess variant, is not necessarily going to meet any peasants in her life. For good reason. You kinda don't want that. As you can imagine, this leads to complications between the nobles and the commoners. There's a great happy ending to the whole thing. Hey, that sounds like fun. So then, where are the girls playing the guy roles? It's just something to make the production more interesting this time. Having guys and girls switch roles, that is. Hans, you enter some very strange things. Don't make me get the Flammenwerfer. Because it feels like I need to cleanse some filth away there. Yeah, <laughs> or something like that. Really? No, the teachers are okay with this. Questions are the teachers okay with cross-dressing nowadays? <laughs> And sexual discrimination, be free of gender roles. Put it in that light, the teachers love the idea. Well, personally, I just thought people would get a kick out of it. Yeah, precisely. That is precisely it. You don't give a shit about that. <laughs> oh, nonsense, as long as you can get your kicks out of that. I get it, though. I get it. <laughs> Jill, you're incorrigible. Yeah. Though she says she prefers the title Evil Genius. I like it. I can work with evil, evil geniuses. Actually, isn't there a game like this? I think there actually is. I think I actually played that at some point. Hmm. I'm gonna look that up at another point. <laughs> I'm totally up for this. And Joshua's like, uh, hey, hold on a second. From what you're telling me then, the crucial role you need me to play is... Hmm. Yep. You're doing us a massive favor here. Thank you for introducing us to such nice people, Chloe. <laughs> Chloe, yo. I'm sorry, Yosha. Yeah, I'm sure you're not really sorry about this. Ooh. Nice, new models. Look at this. They got their little pictures in the costumes, they got themselves into the costumes. Hmm, so these are costumes. I figured that if we're playing knights, we'd be all armored up. Hmm. Well, armored helmet won't work so well if you want people to see you act. Good point, actually. That's why I decided to arrange things so you'd be dressed more like the Royal Guardsman. Ah, so more the uh, decorative um, celebratory armor thing. Well, I mean, it's not technically freaking armor anymore. Dress, I suppose. Dress uniform? Hmm. Somewhat, yeah. She went that. I, I mean, I do remember the, the Landsknecht uniforms were kind of. Really? <laughs> oh my god. It's perfect, okay? She's petite. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can suit you also. Oh, really? Hey, why are we dressed in different colors? Because uh, I'm playing the Azure Knight, Oscar. Azure Knight, eh? The last time I read Azure in a Trails game, that led to a long, long, long story. But then again, cool Max. Hm, you're playing the Ruby Knight, Julius. Max, you play more colorful. Okay then. So, what about Joshua? I'm the object of your affection. It's the fair Princess Cecilia. Come on, Princess, this way. I'm, I'm not in the moment yet. 
That's... That's nice. <laughs> oh, poor Joshua, he is... Uh, he's suffering. Everybody's like, well... Shit, it actually looks good at <laughs> it. Ah, well, not everybody can wear drag, but it's Asian boy. Ah, mm. uh, for fuck's sake. Hmm, <laughs> that does remind me that... Uh, hmm. At some point, uh, I actually had, had potentially the, op the option to play a role uh, that would also require me to wear a dress. It would uh, actually act in that uh, it, it was an offer I had at one point. Uh, I declined. Not actually for any embarrassment for the egg, because you know, I would just have to basically wear a, a long, uh, bright, kinda style, uh, long skirt over my usual clothes, and I would be like, eh, don't care. But uh, the rest of the play was kinda meh, so I was like, meh, don't wanna. Everybody's like, Stan, if you're going to say something, say it. Don't leave me in suspense. Hmm, how should I put it? Uh, I think it looks perfect. I'm shocked. <laughs> you look beautiful. Yeah, that is precisely what every young man wants to hear growing up. Not you look cool, not uh, uh, kinda tough. Nope. You look beautiful. Ah, Joshua. My. Yet the apple of my eye or some nonsense. <laughs> Indeed, such poise. Why, if I didn't know what's really going on under there, I'd be smitten at the very sight of you. Hans, we talked about that degeneracy you have going on there. I swear to God, Hans. Flammenwerfer. Machu Flammenwerferu in your face. Ooh. Yeah, not wrong. Well, precisely my, my reaction. Well, thank you for being honest about it, at least. I'm not so thrilled, but... <laughs> it's just as I hoped. Chill, your glasses are fogging up. I think everyone will be pretty pleased with the casting. Come on, everyone. Let's make this play one to remember. You're just getting off to this nonsense, aren't you, dear? Yeah, we've got every kind of reaction here from an mm hmm to an all right to yay to woo. <laughs> I can't even give you a crying sound here. Let's just say just like boo hoo, sniffle. I'm sure he's uh, sniffling very much there. Like, you know, in a very female way. 